Hi, and welcome back to Wildlife 102. And here we are joined by Ellie and Leonie here at Evergreen Zoo. Isn't that lovely? Today you join us in the penguin sanctuary where it's feeding times. So our guests are feeding their animals raw fish. Our raw fish is locally sourced and has no chemicals added so it's safe for the penguins. Doesn't that sound great? Over here you can see our penguins in a big group. This is how they keep warm in extremely cold temperatures. Yes, well... Today was only a short interview because we had issues. And, well, we'll see you next Tuesday live to see the Tiger Sanctuary. Bye! Bye. Can't wait. Hey kids, my name's Olivia and today we're here with Gabby at Longleat Zoo. Can you tell us some interesting facts about the elephants we see behind us? Well, if you look at the shape of the ears of the elephants, you can tell where they're from. If the ear looks like India, then they're Asian. But if the ear looks like Africa, then they're African elephants. Wow, who knew? Would you like to hear some fun facts about their eating? We really do. Just like a few humans like myself, they can eat for 12 to 18 hours of the day. Wow. I know, very interesting. Now, if you look at the elephants behind us, you can see that their tusks are very long. Mm, indeed. That means that they're African elephants because their tusks never stop growing until they die. And today that's all we have. <laughs> and today that's all we have. <laughs> and today that's all we've got time for. I'm going to take Olivia to the penguins to feed them. We'll see you soon, kids. Bye! I done up. And and what animal would you look after? I look after the lions. They are yellow. They have manes. They have claws. They are in the Lion King. Okay, and how do you feed the lions without them trying to kill you? Well, we use a special kind of meat gun. We load we load the meat into a catapult and then we fire it into the lion's cage. <laughs> so they're on a diet then? Um, yeah, but yeah, sometimes we throw in, sometimes we throw in um, porcupine spines and puffer fish because as it turns out, apparently, every lion... <laughs> every lion out of ten, uh, apparently, every lion out of ten puffer fish we throw in kills one of the lions, so we just, want to, so we just want to perform some natural selection, you know, reign of death. Oh, okay, and do you know how lions compete for land? Um, yes. Okay, How has any of your lions competed for land before? Um, yeah, the, the, they, they've done that before. They, they've done that before many times. Have they ever tried to break out of their cage? Oh, they've done that. Oh, yeah, they, they've done that many times. That's how I lost three of my fingers. How did you lose three of your fingers? Well, I got really <laughs> drunk. And my friend and my friend said to me, Oi mate, I bet you won't let, let the lion out of their cage for ten quid and I said, Hell yeah, I'll let the lion out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Whoa, 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 well, you gotta stop there. We're getting to the best part where I'm buying of the lions the cheesy chips. Okay, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to tune in at tomorrow at 9 pm to The Cheesy see Chips! Bye. Hello. I'm Jim, here at Longleat Zoo. I'm joined by... Jasper. And what do you do here? I am a zookeeper here, and I take care of the lions, tigers and penguins. What do you do with the lions? I feed them animal intestines so they have some fun. Sounds scrumptious. What about the tigers and penguins? The tigers, they hate me a lot. Why is that? Because uh, I hang around with the lions more. So you're saying there's some racism between the two species? <laughs> Not exactly. Um, they can smell the lion So on speciesism. Me. Okay, fine. This is truly fascinating. News at 11.